Good morning. It's time for morning breather, where we pause for just a bit and consider what it means to breathe. In the Jewish tradition, we say a quick little one-line prayer every morning while arising. Males say "moda ani," females say "moda ani," which means "thank you." Moda ani lefanecha. I thank you, Melech Chai Vikayam, living and enduring king. Shehechazarta bi nishmati, for you've returned to me my soul, which is an aspect of your own divine breath, O God. Bechemla, with compassion. Raba emunatecha, great is your faithfulness. Within my mind is the continued question, how do I live out my life in an ordinary way while bearing forth a bit of God's own divine breath? We are just two and a half weeks away from Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur, where we are beginning to see ourselves in an entirely new way. In fact, it's customary for the month before Rosh Hashanah to blow the shofar one tekiah, one blast, every single day leading up to Rosh Hashanah, but not on Shabbos. And it occurs to me that when I'm blowing my breath, which is shared with me from God, is going into the ram's horn that's been part of our tradition for perhaps as many as 3,800 years to make a sound, to change how we view reality and our connections with God ourselves and each other. Breath linked to sound to a change in perspective. How will you and I use our breath this morning to make which kinds of sounds which will change perspectives of ourselves to the world? And if we do it right, our breaths, our sounds changing the perspectives of others throughout the world. One to Kia. May we make a noise, a sound, and may we hear the noise and the sound to make a difference in our day and the days of others. May God bless you always. From Mahavas Chesed in Mobile, Alabama. Shalom for now.